Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Ready. Side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Nice strike. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Lee. And they are exchanging leather early. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his most. Go finish his fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Shot is blocked there by Lee. How about that shin? Very tricky when he throws that body. And both guys really throwing with authority. That one's the good. Nice strike. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Huge block there. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. He is all about that left kick to the body. Head kick, maybe a cut to the left of the nose. know when that leg kick's coming. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Oh, blocks the shot. Nice kick. Looping left hand misses the target. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Ooh, what a punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big kick lands. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big head kick. Punch coming. It's blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Flips that left hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Just out of range with that right hook. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Changes his stance. 
Nice punch there by him. Big leg kick land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop him. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Right hand there. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Switching stances here. He gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body shin. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Clipped him with the right hand there. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Pretty significant well to the left side. Man, he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Got him down to his knee earlier in the fight with a liver shot. He knows he's hurt there, and he'll continue to target that area. Good strategy. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big body kick. Misses with the right hand. Big kick lands. Now connects with the right. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Your hands up for me. Come on now. Ooh, what a punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Beautiful kick. Connects with a right. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you got the Anderson Silva situation. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice head kick. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, big head kick lands. Big kick lands. Slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Let's go. Set the pace. 
Whiffs on the right hand. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Straight right hand now just misses. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Nice loop and punch. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Ten minutes in the books. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha, he loaded it up, he threw it straight, threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice kick. Straight right hand, no good. Big head kick land. Just misses with the right. Oh, that's a nice strike. Leg kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Lands to the body there. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. What a punch. Keep that pressure high now. Three minutes to go. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Ooh, what a head kick. <laughs> Telegraph that spinning back fist. Ooh, big shot lands. What a right hand by this young man. Just missed with the left there. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Just misses with the straight right. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. It's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, huge block. Just out of range with that left hook. That's a big strike right there. Head kick. is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, he 
he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Slips the shot. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Waning seconds here of round number three. Right on the button. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take over. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Good punch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many at all. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. He blocks the punch. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Beautiful body kick. Just misses with a left hook there. That punch, no good. Liver kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Big kick lands. Now going upstairs with the left hook. And again, snaps the head back as another punch lands. Another punch lands. He's doing everything with his hands. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Good punch lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Three minutes remain in the round. And that one certainly found the target. I mean, over and over, he's taking these strikes to the head. Well, as my favorite rack group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of pushing his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Nice. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. He loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight.
90 seconds now to go in the round. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking. Oh, kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Nice leg kick. Oh! Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. Going orthodox now. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Big leg kick land. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, he hurt a jab. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, the round is over, gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's gonna have no choice but to stop this fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a gets up to feet his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Still nice body. And then he lands a nice elbow. They continue to exchange. Oh, a huge block there. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's gonna throw it. Straight punch lands. Just out of range with that left hook. One, two there. Oh man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Nice punch lands. And they separate. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there and might not be a bad fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Circling to his right. Nice body kick. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Just misses there with the left. Back and forth we go. 
just unable to quite find that range. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Oh! Nice knee to the body there by Lou. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore right. because the more it starts to split, that the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaged, oh! he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Beautiful leg kick throw. Big punch land. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that. Whoa! What a last minute! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. his hands a little bit easier said than done competitive close fight you gotta lean either way i mean it is horrible when you walk back to the center of the octagon not knowing exactly who won the fight i thought he won a lot of the striking exchanges but it wasn't very clear so it'll be interesting to see who gets the decision decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, Lesnar. Judge two scores it, 48-47, Lee. And judge three scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision, Brown!